Greetings all. Uh, many of you will probably want to get rid of this gun in your gray box demo because many of you aren't using a gun in your environment. So I thought I would show how to quickly get rid of it. It's a little bit weird, so I thought I'd make a video to show how to do it. OK, here we go. So first thing you want to do is look in your content browser. Reminder, this is your content browser. This is showing you all the stuff in your uh, environment. And I want to show you one quick thing. If you go to View Options here, you can scale your folder size up and down, which is pretty useful for me because you'll have a bunch of stuff in here eventually. Uh, OK, so you're in the content folder right now. And where you want to go is uh, your first person BP, our first person blueprint. And you'll go into the Blueprints folder. So again, you're in Content, First Person Blueprints, Blueprints. And you're going to see this first person character blueprint right here. Blueprint is like a file, right? Uh, like an architecture. It sketches out the details of a thing. Uh, Unreal Engine uses this word blueprints to mean a script, really, or a file. Uh, so first person character is where we're going to do some work. But um, also, you can get to it this way. And I'll show you how. Whoops clicked on first person character. So um, to get to the gun, one of the easiest ways to do it is to go into your world outliner up here, right, which lists all of your stuff. Reminder, you can slide up and down with this little grabber right here. And you'll see first person character here. Uh, and what you want to do is go, you see where it says edit first person character. Notice when you mouse over, it says click to edit the blueprint. What that's really doing is doing the same thing as opening this file here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. If you go in here, you can see uh, some a bunch of boxes and arrows. <laughs> and uh, just as a heads up, what often happens when you open a blueprint is it takes you into a vent graph view right here. But notice there's two other places where data and application logic live. You've got your event grab uh, event graph folder here, your construction script folder here, and your viewport here. And your viewport is probably the thing you were looking for, right? It's where your uh, 3D models of your arms and your weapons and stuff are. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on this weapon right here. You're going to probably have two weapons in here. You're going to have a VR gun, and you're going to have an FP gun. Uh, you're going to want to get rid of both of them. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the FP gun. You can get rid of VR gun the same way. Uh, so go ahead, easy enough, right? Click on the VR on the FP gun. That's FP stands for first person. You're going to see here it's attached uh, to first person camera. Mesh 2P is your arms. FP gun is your gun. And you want to get rid of the gun. So the easiest thing to do is just hit the delete key. Bam, and it's gone. Now, what you may not immediately notice, but you'll find that this happens a lot in Unreal Engine, is now your compile icon has a little question mark by it. And what that's telling you is you did a thing, and I'm not, and, but like you have to compile the, the, the engine in order to kind of understand what happened. So when you hit compile, what's going to happen is you're going to get an error. And I'll explain why. This now down here in compiler results, you have an error. And what the error is, it's, you know, programmer speak uh, saying like, hey, your target must have a connection. And the reason you're getting this error, right, is you remove the target, but you still have the connection. So it's saying like, hey, something's up here. and I'm not sure exactly what happened. You got rid of something, but I, I still think it's there. So what am I supposed to do? The easiest way to resolve this is to double click on this error, and it's going to take you right to the thing that's erroring out. Uh, and attached to component, attached component to component, you'll notice the parent here is mesh 2P. That's your arms. And what it, this is doing, right, is, is connecting the gun, but the gun is gone. So what you want to do, just to make your life easy, is just click on this block right here. It's a, called a function. You can see it's a function because it's got a little F right there. Hit the delete key, and uh, that will resolve it. But to know if it's resolved or not, you need to now go back to the compiler button again. And you'll see now that you don't have any errors down here, which is great. Uh, so let's go back to the viewport view here. And you'll see you still have your arms. Well, let's go see what happens. You've got your arms, but no gun, right? I'm just going to save current just to make sure in case I crash. 
my work is safe. Safe current is a very important thing to use in Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine can crash on you. It's doing a lot of work, and sometimes that work makes things crash. Okay, so we're going to use the play button here, and the play button here will run our experience, right? And I'm going to use WASD. I'm going to hold my route right mouse button key down, right? That lets me sort of move my body around, rotate my body, and I'm going to use WASD to move around. But you can see we have a little problem. The gun is gone, but the hands are still there. So let's get rid of the hands. I'm going to hit escape. That's going to eject me out of the play view. Uh, let's go back to first person character and click on the arms. And that's this mesh 2P here. So now that I've clicked on the arms, again, I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. Boom, and it's gone. That doesn't solve our problems, though, yet. We've created two new ones as far as the game is concerned. I'm going to hit compile, and I'm going to tell you why. I think it's two, because now we have two errors down here. And there's are easy enough to resolve, just like we did before. First thing you want to do is click on the first error, double click on it. Um, that's going to take you to this set hidden in game, and you can see set hidden into game is erroring out. So just click on it. Hit delete, hit compile. Okay, now we're just down to one error. This blueprint itself is not a skeletal mesh component. That's because we have deleted it. Uh, and what we want to do here is you'll see this get anim instance is erroring. So go ahead and hit delete, hit compile. It's not going to be completely gone yet, but now we're going to see where the new error is. That's in this montage play function. I'm going to scroll up. I'm right clicking, and that allows me to grab and move things around. Uh, we're going to get rid of montage play, compile, and now we don't have any errors, so that's good. Um, just because we don't have any errors doesn't mean it did exactly what we want, but in this case, it does. Uh, we don't have any errors, so we should be in good shape. I'm going to go back to first-person example map. Uh, this is the default map. Map is an interchangeable word in Unreal Engine to really mean level, right? So when you see the word map, think level. Okay, so now if we hit play, the arms are gone, and the gun is gone, and we can cruise around in our environment unencumbered by that wacky gun, and uh, we aren't distracting from our gray box walkthrough with this goofy gun in the front. If you want to keep the gun because you're using a gun, that's fine, but if you don't, and you want to get rid of it to make a nice, tidy, clean, comprehensible gray box run-through, that's how you do it. Enjoy.